and we are back and we're going to be going over the four basic filter types and I have a noise floor that's my GP there you go um, and we're going to be using white noise to kind of demonstrate this so the first one is the one most used and that is a low pass filter so a low pass filter only lets the lows pass and uh, it's affected uh, during the cutoff point so what we have here is we have auto filter we have our low pass here and we can see it's letting all the lows in and keeping all the highs out so you can kind of hear it here on your frequency we're using white noise because it's all frequencies at once basically so that's everything right and that's a low pass filter that's uh it takes away the high the high um basically the upper harmonics and uh takes them away uh at your cutoff point so it's a very simple kind of EQ. Then we have the opposite, which is a high pass, um, which lets only the higher frequencies come out and gets rid of the low end. You have this uh, in like radios and stuff like that. Like basically every speaker system, they have uh, a high pass filter uh, at 20 hertz. Like all clubs have that. Um, a low pass. What's an example of a low pass? Uh, oh, a subwoofer. A subwoofer has a low-pass filter circuit built into it, so only the lows go through the subwoofer, right? Uh, that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Um, so yeah, you have your high-pass, which is how you get your awesome filter sweeps of doom. Now we have a combination of a low-pass and a high-pass, right? And uh, that would be our band pass. So a, a specific frequency band uh, pokes through. On our spectrum. So the low ends, it's like the bass, the high ends, the highs. Um, this would be, this is basically what our mouths do when we talk. So, I don't know, can't do it. Uh, but, um, what our mouths are doing is it opens and closes um, this um, band and uh, allows us to speak with different shapes and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, and then we have uh, a band pass, no, a notch, a, ba a band reject. So it's the opposite, it rejects the band, um, or it's a notch filter. And uh, this sounds like so. And what that does is it just takes away a frequency. Um, these are used in uh, a bit of EQs, um, quite a bit of EQs. And uh, you use a combination of different filters in, say, EQ8. EQ8 is just eight filters, um, and you use that to kind of EQ, and they all kind of go together uh, nice and neat. Um, you hear um, the band reject or notch filter uh, in recordings, um, it kind of sounds like a phaser, uh, kind of like so. So on, on like a synth, if you don't want phasing issues in your mix, you would use uh, bandpass, and uh, they work quite well. So that would be your basic, basic uh, filter shapes. Uh, the most common uh, would be low pass, uh, obviously from the Moog series and uh, high pass um, more modern uh, with filter sweeps and all that fun stuff um, but think of think of it as tone control uh, and using the sign the square to sine wave you can really hear uh, what it's been doing and how powerful it is so you can generally take a very busy sound roll off the highs uh, with a low pass filter and you can have more of a, a rounded bass and it sounds pretty cool. Anyway, that is four basic filter types. All right, BRB.